Hey, what is up guys? So we are going into the next cycle I want to talk about, which are all the divine runes, or the gods of the game. So if you saw my last two couple videos, we talked about cycles. So cycles are cards that kind of do the same thing, but are different. So you have the nexus cycle with all those nexus celestials. And we just spoke about all the stadiums. Again, they do kind of the same thing, but they're of a different element, so they do slightly different things. Now in the case of the divine runes they all do something different and that makes them stronger or weaker so if you know anything we're going to start with aeolus during our play testing of the game he used to be a disenchant one now he's a disenchant two for his ability to go search up any one cost wind elestral and that was really really powerful because of how many good effects the wind elestrals have which made Aeolus probably the strongest card in the game, if not the strongest card of all these five at the very least. Now, Aeolus is nerfed. It, now you have to disenchant two, which is fair because of how toolboxy that kid is, which makes him by far, he's still probably the best out of these five. And Hephaestus is probably the second strongest because Hephaestus does something similar, but instead of looking for one cost wind, or fire elestrals, he searches up any artifact you could want. But we just said searching for one was too strong with Aeolus. Why is searching for one okay with Hephaestus for artifacts? And I think part of that is because when you play an artifact, you kind of have two points to disrupt your opponent there. If your opponent plays an artifact on basically any of their elestrals, you can remove the elestral to remove the artifact. You can remove the artifact to remove the artifact. So it sets your opponent up for a little bit of a more potential to get blown out, but it's a good effect. So Festus, although searching for a card for one is very strong, because the card you're searching requires something in play to empower to, and opens up more spots for your opponent to get, you know, two for one on spirits, you know, they could P-Gust your rune, now all of a sudden your, you know, your artifact that cost two just got blown up by a one cost P-Gust. You know, they could boom bat your Elestral that you just empowered. So now they, you just got two for one, you know, card wise. And you might have got a three or four for one spirit wise. So I think Festus is in a fine place. Maybe some other artifacts come out in the future that makes Festus a little bit too strong. Then you have Poseidon. Poseidon is in a weird spot because the best. Thing that you can generically do with all the divine runes is use them as nexus banks and poseidon ability is to just nexus from itself which is a good ability but also not a very impactful ability now we don't have any receive water effects right now which would make poseidon very strong like if we had a p gust in water you could just you know water gust and then poseidon nexus and do its ability again so if we get you know, solid received water ability. Poseidon can be very strong. Currently, the only thing you consistently do with Poseidon is ramp out your Majesty on turn one or two really quickly. So it's like turn one, you play Tadpuff, Poseidon, you know, send one water from Poseidon to Tadpuff, play Majesty. That's what you do with Poseidon. Either that or you play Foamy, let your Foamy die, get another one drop, and, you know, next is off Poseidon, go to your three drop right away. Other than that, Poseidon doesn't do much. I think Poseidon has potential if we get a lot more three cost waters or some good strong, you know, receives waters effects, or if like an Atlantis deck becomes super viable. Poseidon will make the Atlantis deck more viable because now you can just throw some extra stats around. And leaves us with Demeter and Zeus to go over quickly. They both do the same thing yet opposite. So Zeus, you can target an Elestral and reduce his stats by 3 3 till end of turn. And Demeter, you can raise one of your Elestial stats by plus three, plus three, till the turn. Similar yet different things. So we have nothing that really cares too much at the moment for upping stats or lowering stats. The only thing that really cares about the exact stat value of something is Refernal. Which if Refernal reduces something, specifically just Refernal, reduces something to zero defense, it'll destroy it. But... That doesn't synergize with these cards at all because you already missed the trigger if you use this after Trifernal's ability, etc. Somehow. 
um, and increasing your attack besides just getting over a stat doesn't do a ton. So Zeus and Demeter aren't the most impactful. And part of the only reason you play Demeter right now is because of Equal Inks. So it's a Nexus target for Equal Inks. It can pump your Equal Inks to a 7 attack off the rip if you need it. But Earth doesn't really need the buffed up stats at the moment. They have some really strong 1-drops that have a lot of stats already. And Zeus you really only play right now for Volt Tempest strategy, which is with Tempest, if you have a Zeus in play, Volt Tempest can't be targeted. It makes it a really good, you know, extra shields for Volt Tempest from removal. So that's what they all do. I still think that even after Aeolus' nerf, Aeolus is still probably the strongest out of all these. And the thing is, Aeolus, Hephaestus, Poseidon, they're all going to consistently get to be stronger and stronger cards the more cards are in the card pool so Aeolus and Hephaestus because they search out cards so Hephaestus the more artifacts in the card pool the better Hephaestus will be is that going to make him strong enough to keep seeing play you know if the game goes 10 years down who knows Aeolus same thing the more wind spirits and the more toolboxy wind spirits we get or Elestral sorry the better he's going to be which is really cool. So these cards are going to, you know, continue to see play because they're just going to keep getting better and better, you know? Poseidon, again, if we get some good Proceed effects, Poseidon is going to consistently get to be a better and better card because Poseidon will be able to, you know, do more interactions and, you know, the more three drop waters to get to, the more received water abilities we get. That's going to make Poseidon really strong. Demeter and Zeus are just going to get left behind unless we get cards that reference them more where if we get cards that reference more Zeus, if we get cards that reference Demeter more they'll see more play but then the cards that are referencing them are the strong cards, not necessarily these guys because on their own they're a combat trick to use MTG terms, they're you know a puff staff 3 is almost enough to be relevant in a lot of cases I think think when stat changes start getting relevant is that four or five number when you start getting over a tier of attack so a one drop has around three to five attack a two drop has around six to nine attack and then the three drops are kind of all over the place but usually they're ten and up i think when you have you know when you're one drop can get consistently over their two drop that's when a stat becomes relevant so three stats going from one to two the average attack stat of a one drop is like three and four with a couple outliers at five and the average attack stat for two drop is seven so your four drop can trade or your four attack one drop can trade with the seven attack two drop, which doesn't leave you the board state. And I don't, I feel like that's why three stats isn't as relevant. Whereas if they did four stat, like a Wormite, the cool about Wormite, Wormite's a three attack, but Wormite's effectively a seven attack because you can do something by four. Reducing by four will consistently get your one drops over the two drops. So that's why I don't think. Three stat is different. And then you can look at the Necklace of Harmonia, which empowers an Elestral with five attack. Five attack will get basically any one drop to trade at minimum. Like you would trade your Foamy into a Sonic or, you know, a two attack to a seven attack with Necklace of Harmonia. Can't even come close to that with these guys. So attack stat doesn't matter unless it's a lot of attack. To quote Johnny, J. Johnny says that a couple times in some of his videos. So, yeah, that's the kind of overview on all these. Again, Aeolus, Hephaestus continue to be very strong moving forward. Poseidon could be good if we get cards to support the Poseidon ability. And Demeter and Zeus will always just kind of be Demeter and Zeus. And they'll kind of always do the stat buff thing. Um, but hey, at worst, these cards are Nexus Banks, which is very good because if you watch my Nexus Elestral video, you know that Nexus Sing is very strong on those cards. These cards are great banks for those cards to be used effectively. So that's all I have on uh, this cycle of cards. And if you uh, appreciate my time and you enjoy the video, appreciate any likes you can get me. 
uh, any subscriptions get me. Hopefully I'm at 200 subs by now, but I think I'll probably just be just short when this video comes out. So, you know, help me push over that little hump, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.